I see you've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor, Lord Rykard. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The Tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the shard bearers vying for power in the wake of the shattering. Our Lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rykard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs>
Brave Tarnished, what is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness, am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual. Despite this appearance, Brave Tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zarias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. Lady Tanith is my mother. I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king. That my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am. But people are cruel. If they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me. And so, I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. But you are not like the rest. My serpentine form and the name Zarias were secrets known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else.